Hey everyone, a very warm welcome to Novation. I'm Shantanu and I welcome you all to the all new session on important foreign words. So friends, this is the part 3 of the series and if you have part 1 or part 2, nahi hai, so I'll request you that please watch those videos. The link is in the description box and also on the top right corner of your screen. So this is going to be a very important lecture and hence I'll request you that you video the end and the assignment questions you will also in the comment section. Mein and friends, you can contact me in social media platforms. Pe contact kar sakte hai. I generally reply within 24 hours. And uh, if you like the content of Novation, I request you that please visit novation.in. Here you can get uh, free PDFs of the lectures. You can give various quizzes. And if you want, you can support Novation kar sakte hai through donations. Alright friends, so let's start session shuru karte hai. Alright friends, so first word is ad absurdum. So what will we see? We will see its origin, the meaning, the usage of this word and any possible similar word to it. Alright, so its origin is Latin and uh, the meaning of this word is to the point of absurdity. If you will say it so much, you will say it so much, you will say it so much, it will be Then it is called ad absurdum. Let's see its usage. He kept, he kept repeating his argument ad absurd. Uh, ad Absurdum. So, you have seen that many times we have arguments and someone is so much arguing that he doesn't have sense of it. It is all absurd. So, that's why from this image you can remember it. Ad absurdum means to, to the point of absurdity. Uh, similar words will be ad infinitum, ad nauseum. So, you will tell me in the comment section. Mein okay, comment the meaning. Uh, moving forward. Next is aficionado. So here the meaning of the origin of this word is Spanish. That's a Spanish word. And the meaning of uh, aficionado is an ardent follower or knowledgeable person about some activity like sports. So you can see this image you can remember this image. You will have friends like you who follow a lot of any sport and follow a lot of information about it. So they are like uh, aficionado of that, of that sport or of that activity also. Like uh, they might be watching some uh, TV series or they might be reading some books. So they are, they will be called expert in that domain or aficionado. And its usage is, I am surprised at what a football aficionado he has become. Alright, so uh, that's like some, uh, the person is uh, surprised that someone has become an aficionado in football. Moving forward, next word is uh, a priori. So its origin is Latin. And uh, the meaning of a priori is based on theory rather than observation. So, you have not seen particular observation hai, ya you haven't actually witnessed that, witnessed that observation but you are saying something in theory only. Let's see an example so it will be better. The terrible condition of their house suggests that a priori that, uh, uh, suggests a priori that they are having financial difficulties. So, Person ko actual me pata nahi hai ke unko financial difficulties hai ya nahi. But the condition of their house is suggesting a priori that without observing, even without knowing that they have the difficulties, it is uh, very much visible. Alright. And similar word of a priori will be a posteri posteriori. So, aap iska meaning mujhe comment section bataiyega. Next word is uh, au current. Next word we have is au current. So here friends, the origin is French and the meaning of this word is being up to date or well informed. So let's see the usage, his shoes, hair, clothes, every detail of his dress in fact was utterly occurrent. So from this image you can remember like these people are dressed in a very up to date manner uh, like following the trend or the style occurrent. Alright, so that's how you can uh, remember it. We'll move forward. Next we have is uh, beau chest. So its origin is again French and the meaning of this word is a fine or noble or beautiful gesture. Let's see the usage. She helped me when no one was there for me. I am indebt indebted with her bow chest. So uh, someone helped or uh, did a nice gesture to someone. So that is called bow chest. Uh, so here through this image you can uh, remember it. And a similar word will be bow mont. Alright. Next we have is bon mot. So friends, the origin is again French and the meaning of bon mot is a witty remark or a comment. So that is the reason why I have used the photograph of Mr. Kapil Sharma who is a comedian and uh, like he is always witty with his remarks or comments. Uh, let's see a usage. 
So Kriti didn't laugh at her husband's bon mot as she knew all of his clever jokes. So she didn't laugh on the witty remark of her husband. And a similar word to bon mot will be bon uh, vivant. Next word we have is carpe diem. So this is a very important word friend. Its origin is Latin and the meaning of carpe diem is to seize the day or make the most of the present time. जो हमारा present या वर्तमान का समय है उसमें जिया जाए ना कि past या भूतकाल में या worrying about the future भविष्य काल में So that is living in the present carpe diem. Uh, let's see the usage. So his attitude toward his life is carpe diem. That is that means he lives in the present and not in the past or future. So you can remember this word through uh, this cartoon of Timon and Pumbaa, who are very very carefree. All right. Next we have is cos celebre. Friends, very important. Its origin is French and it means a controversial issue that attracts a great deal of public attention. So, कोई controversy या कोई ऐसी चीज जो बहुत ज़्यादा public attention gain करती है, especially in a negative manner, then it is called cos celebre. Its usage: The Harshad Mehta scam became an international cos celebre during the 90s. So uh, that's why I have utilized the image of Mr. Pratik Gandhi so that you can remember what cause celebre is. That means uh, this scam also garnered a lot of public attention even worldwide. So that's why that is also a cause celebre. Moving forward, uh, next is uh, coup de grace. So its origin is French and its meaning is another very interesting one. A final blow or shot which kills a wounded person or animal. Final shot से अगर आप अपने enemy को या किसी जानवर को मार देते हैं that shot is called the coup de grace. Uh, it is also used in a positive connotation. So positive connotation का sentence हम use करेंगे After an extremely successful day, the coup de grace came when she won best all-round athlete. So that's how we can use it in a positive manner. के पूरा दिन उसका अच्छा था but end में जो cherry on top was was that she won all-round athlete. So that was the coup de grace. आप इसको इस इमेज से याद रख सकते हैं दीज हंटर एंड गैदरर्स हैव किल्ड अ एनिमल विद अ फाइनल शॉट मूविंग फॉरवर्ड नेक्स्ट इज डॉल्शे विटा सो द ओरिजिन इज इटालियन एंड इट्स मीनिंग इज अ लाइफ फुल ऑफ प्लेजर एंड लग्जरी सो यू कैन सी द लाइफ स्टाइल दिस दैट्स हाउ यू कैन रिमेंबर इट डॉल्शे विटा एंड द यूजेज लेट सी सो माई वेकेशन दिस ईयर इज गोइंग टू बी टू अन इंटरप्टेड वीक्स ऑफ Dolce Vita. All right. So for those two weeks, the person is going to have a lot of luxurious life or holidays. Next, uh, we have is uh, entre nou, and uh, it's a French origin word, and its meaning is private or between ourselves. So something secret which should be kept privately between two persons or confidential. Uh, its usage. Please keep this story entre nou or I will be in trouble. All right. So if you have told someone, then I will be in trouble. So keep it, keep it confidential or entre nou. All right. Next word we have is finch maker. And friends, it's a German origin word, and its meaning is basically gourmet. So gourmet is a person who knows a lot about good food, good uh, wine, and also enjoys or relishes uh, such good food and wine. So its usage. I don't think she will like the McDonald's burger. She is too much of a finch maker. All right. So the, if someone is a finch maker, he knows a lot uh, about good food. So uh, if you give him some bad food, he won't like it, of course, right? And guys, आप ये word को याद रख सकते हैं Mr. Vikas Khanna को देख के. He is a, a very famous Indian chef, and he knows a lot about good food and good wine. All right. So that's how you can remember it. Next we have is ipso facto. So it's another important word. Its origin is Latin, and it means by the fact itself. So, uh, some if if you, if you deduce something or get a conclusion by the fact, then it is called ipso facto through the facts only. So let's see the usage. The enemy of one's enemy may be ipso facto a friend. अगर किसी का दुश्मन हमारे दुश्मन का दुश्मन हमारा क्या होगा दोस्त होगा. That's kind of a ipso facto uh, thing. All right. Next we have is uh, more just. and its origin is again french and uh, the meaning is the exact appropriate word so kabhi kabhi dosto kya hota hai hum ek particular word ko jo sahi hota hai usko dhoond nahi pate hain all right so uh, if you find that correct word and use it then it is called mo just and uh, let's see the usage dog screamed the three year old immensely proud of his mo just so uh, the child actually got the correct word and that why that's why mo just is used here 
moving forward next is uh, nom de guerre and it's a french origin word jiska meaning hota hai a pseudonym or a name that someone uses instead of their real name so if someone is using their uh, different name not the real name that is called nom de guerre and uh, its uh, usage is in 17th century a nom de guerre was mandatory for every soldier similar word nom plume so you can remember it through this word a uh, secretive person or a detective doesn't tell his real name all right next word that we have is persona non grata so uh, here the origin is latin and the meaning is an unacceptable or an unwelcome person usko bolte hain persona non grata so here i have used the image of thanos which is a very famous villain i hope all of you knows uh, him so we don't want him to come here all right on earth so he's a unwelcome or a persona non grata let's see the usage the senator was considered a persona non grata because he refused to support the majority opinion very easy easy to understand right we'll move forward next word is savoir faire so another important word let's see it so origin is french and very important meaning the ability to act or speak appropriately in social situations so if you are in a public gathering or you are among uh, you know your elders in a social gathering so you need to act in a very particular socially acceptable manner agar aap waisa nahi karenge so you won't be considered a good uh, social person all right so let's see the usage she presided over the gathering with impressive savoir faire all right so how are you going to remember savoir faire you will you can remember it with your uh, by linking it to your mother so our mothers often tell us or hint us that behave in a, in this manner when you are in public or when you are in some gathering all right so uh, she she would uh, tell us to be savoir faire so that's how you can remember it next word that we have is it's uh, welsh words and its origin is german and the meaning is a feeling of melancholy and world weariness so aap duniya se thak chuke ho you are feeling very sad sorrowful or melancholic then uh, you are having the feeling of welsh words and uh, let's see the usage so his poetry expressed a certain welsh words all right you can remember it with a very sad person next uh, now friends we are on the assignment part of the video so aap mujhe bataiye ga meaning aur origin in words ka first is in situ uh, next is non plus ultra Uh, next is sans soshi and last is terra incognita so in charo words ka aap mujhe meaning bataiye aur origin bhi bataiye comment section mein so with that friends we come to an end to this exciting session i hope the session was insightful aur aapne kai sare foreign words yaad kiye honge aur note bhi kiye honge so i'll request you that please uh, like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to novation for more such important videos on varc general awareness business awareness etc aur friends main aapse fir se request karunga if you like the content of novation please go ahead and support novation by going to the donate button on novation.in so with that friends i'll close today's session i'll meet you again next time until then bye bye and please take care